Hi, it's Mr. Adams from Midwood High School. This is a video on heat and energy calculations using specific heat. Um, we're in the topic of heat and energy, right? And heat always is transferred from a hotter source to a colder source. Uh, we must remember that heat is also called thermal energy in terms of um, what we're talking about in terms of energy transfer. And um, we have this equation here, Q equals C, Q equals M times delta T. Now, from experience, we know that Q refers to heat energy and is measured in joules. The M represents mass. Okay, Q is heat energy in joules. C is something called the specific heat capacity. Okay, and it's the amount of uh, energy needed to raise uh, the temperature of one gram of substance by one degree. And delta T represents change in temperature. Now, you can have a simple calorimeter here, right? Which we typically use in lab. Uh, using maybe the styrofoam cup. And what could happen is you could have a certain mass of substance in there. Now, the reaction of the substance, okay, for example, could, um, for example, if it's exothermic, would release heat into the water, right? And what would happen there, the water would go up in temperature and you will get a certain um, delta T from that. Okay, now the thing is, if you know the mass of the water, and the mass of the uh, substance, you know the delta T involved, and you know the C of water, which is specific heat capacity of water, which can be found on table B of our reference tables, you can then um, determine amount of Q heat that was released. Now we in class were using this formula in this way, right, with the triangle method which seems to be pretty uh, nice to use. We have Q equals M C delta T. Okay, so we're going to multiply all of them, M, C, and delta T. If we're looking for Q, now if we're looking for something like mass, we will do a division and so on with C and delta T. So let's do some examples. We have an example here uh, with copper. Okay, and they gave us the specific heat right here. Now, very, very careful. Please look at the values carefully and look at their units, okay? Joules, gram, degrees, C represents specific heat. And this copper absorbs or takes in 5,000 joules of energy. So automatically we expect the temperature to go up, right? Now, we're looking at a problem continuing. The temperature does go up. It changes from 100 degrees C to 200 degrees C. So it um, follows our expectations. So what we're going to do, we are going to find the mass of the copper involved. So what we do simply, you set up your triangle, okay, because you know it's a change in temperature problem, because the temperature went from 100 to uh, 200, and you put your Q equals MC delta T in the triangle. All right, now you analyze what you're looking for. We are looking for mass, right? M. So what you do next is simply you set it up. M is going to be equal to Q over C times delta T. All right. You always should solve it algebraically first with the letters, and then you plug your numbers and units in. Now Q would be five thousand joules because we know that's the unit of energy. Okay. So we could put five thousand joules at the top all right and that's going to be over the product of c okay which they gave us the specific capacity is 0 0.385 okay joules grams degree c times okay the change in temperature it went from 100 to 200 so the change in temperature was 100 degrees C. Now what happens simply is we'll do some cancellations of the joules, all right, they will cancel, and the degree C will cancel, and this leaves us with grams, right, and that makes sense since we're looking for grams, okay, so always use units, and when you do your final calculation, your mass should be equal to close to 131.6 grams, okay, and you're done, nice simple problem, you move on, okay, we have a problem here. We're given mass of an unknown substance, right? 
okay and they say here the temperature increases is a temperature increase of 38 degrees so they're giving you the change in temperature right there so they're giving you the delta t right there okay and it's absorbed or took in this number of joules right so you expect the temperature to increase and it did all right in this case they're asking you to find the specific heat all right so what you simply do we'll use our triangle again okay we have Q equals to M C delta T, right? Now, in this case, we are looking for C, the specific heat. So C is going to be equal to Q over M times delta T, all right? The Q value, the energy value, okay, is there. So it's 4,000. 172.4 joules and that would be over m which is given to us is 45 grams okay and that's going to be time to change the temperature which is 38 degrees c in this case all right now as we notice nothing cancels out right and that makes sense because the unit of specific heat is joules gram degree c so when you do this final calculation your specific heat value should be around 2.44 joules grams degree c and you're done okay so once again that's a problem moving on okay um in this case right here we are asked um to find how much did the temperature change by we're given grams of the sample we're given joules right here of the water, and we're given the specific heat of the water. This value is also on our table B. All right, so we're trying to find delta T temperature change. You have your triangle. Okay, Q equals MC delta T, right? Okay, and in this case, we are looking for delta T. So we're going to simply say delta T is equal to Q over m times c you plug your values in okay 500 joules right here okay that goes in the top because that's our, our energy our m is our mass right so m is going to be 40 grams and that will be times okay c right here right so c is for water is 4.18 joules grams degrees c okay and what's going to happen next we'll simply do some cal cancellations the joules okay the joules will cancel um the grams and the grams will also cancel so that leaves us degree c we're looking for temperature that makes sense okay so what happens next our delta t should be around 2.99 or to round it off 3.0 degrees C for our temperature change and you're done that's all you need to do all right moving on last one now we're gonna have a situation here we have water again as our substance right we're given 335 grams of water okay now they say the water is at 65.5 degrees C all right and we gotta read this carefully we're losing this number of joules right okay of heat and they want to know the final temperature of the water and they give us the c value right here so this is a temperature change problem right so the simply whenever you have a temperature change problem and they're asking you to find the final initial temperature you ask yourself okay was i given the final temperature or was i given the initial temperature the other question you should ask yourself is did was there loss okay or was there gain of energy okay always ask yourself those questions when you're doing um a problem like this if they're asking you to find initial or final temperatures now once again in this particular problem right there was loss of energy so if you lost energy what do we expect to happen to our temperature our initial temperature we expect our initial temperature to drop okay so our final temperature should be lower if we lost energy got colder all right so what's going to happen is we simply set up our triangle as before right okay it's going to be q is equal to m c delta t as before right now what we're going to do we are going to find 
how much did the temperature change by? We're going to find delta T right here. All right, we're going to find delta T first. Now, delta T is going to be equal to Q over M times C. Okay, so our Q value is going to be 9,750 joules. That's going to be divided by the mass, which is 335 grams. And that's going to be times the C value, the specific value for water, which is 4.18 joules, grams, degrees C. Okay, and you simply do your cancellations, okay? The grams and the grams cancels, the joules and the joules they cancel, okay? And when you do that calculation, all right, your delta T should be approximately 7 degrees C. Now, the problem is not quite finished yet because that's our change in temperature. They want us to find the final temperature. The initial temperature was 65.5 degrees C. We know that we lost energy, so if you lost energy, your temperature will go down. How much should it go down by? This number right here, the 7 degrees. So 65.5 degrees C minus 7 should give us something like 58.5 degrees C as our final answer. Okay, so how do we know to subtract instead of adding? We lost energy. Okay, we were given an initial temperature, so the final temperature would be lower, so this answer makes sense. All right, folks, um, as always, hard work plus sacrifice equals success. Um, heat transfer represents um, a tra transfer of thermal energy. Okay, always from hotter to colder. We know how to use this equation right now. We should be experts at it. Um, this is a branch of calorimetry. Take care. Be well.